Hi everyone, this is MBTEX and today I want to show you how to run a Spring Boot project in a command prompt. In order to run a Spring Boot in your computer app, to be, you, you must have to install Java in your computer. And in my computer I have installed Java, let me check my version here, I have installed Java 17.0.1. And some other command that you require to install is a Maven. You can install and you can install as a default one. Also, you must have specified the Java Home variable in the environment variable. In my computer, I have set as this Java Home that point to the home directory of a java installation folder okay without wasting time let's get started i'm creating a spring starter project from the spring starter website now i can generate some dependencies that i want to use you can select as much as you want dependencies mm my project i'm um, going to use this independent spring web that called tiny and embedded tomcat set so i i don't want a, I, I i don't need a tomcat i don't want a separate tomcat to host my web page now i can change the name of my project to spring cmd leave everything as default as yes. you can see in the description here I can add the same thing packaging I uh, package as a Java and a Java according to my computer I have 17 version so I'll leave 17 or I can select this all the oldest version but I can select this because I have installed Java 17. Now click generate here in order to download the startup project. Now it has been downloaded. I can open in the download folder. Let me cut. I'll move to the folder where my project lives best here. I can extract it as I and once you open inside you can see some files are, are present by default as a startup project created. I'll open command prompt here we have this file. This is a command a window command line we have two files called maven w maven w this is a configuration that is required to compile your project here and this one is the same but this one is for bash in linux and this one is for window operating system if i double click this it will run in static for instance, if I put here, yeah, it will search the default one for window, that is this one. And you can see a build failure because, because I have not specified any code to run. So, before you run your project, you must compile. Type and then compile. Now it is compiling your project here. Make sure you have internet if you are running for the first time because it is going to download the dependencies if we are not present in your computer. But if the dependencies are in your computer, it will be copied to the directory. Now the build is success here, and I'm going to run. Type this command: spring boot. 
colon run okay type this command to run your project now it is running and here we are saving our project result the use of IDE to run a project we are using command prompt only now you can see you can see here that tomcat started no port here but if we go to this port low cost 88 we can see a white level error page because we didn't added any any page or page so we need to add a web page here now open it in this file we have this a uh, main class a class with the main method that is let me open my sub -layer. We have this a class with many methods that is running at the start. This one contain a main method. We have to add another class here. Let's put a simple ST control here. I'm going to put a get mapping with this path here. Now this must be in the must be in the class. And the method that will be called here yeah. will return a string error. Okay, it is success. Now we have to run our project here. And now I've set error path. Can you put here? And you're gonna see how it is. 